In this example, we'd like to compute the volume of the solid that lies between this cone. Um, this is a standard cone in three-dimensional space. This one's given in, well, rectangular coordinates, but we'll have to sketch it. And then the sphere. The sphere, we need to do some work to figure out exactly what sphere that is. So let's start trying to sketch the region. So here's the Z, here's the Y, and the X coordinate axes from the rectangular coordinate system. The cone, and it says it lies above the cone, so let's just draw the top nap of the cone. But the cone is just, again, the standard cone here, um, which makes an angle, it, it's just a standard cone, which makes an angle of pi over 4 um, in the YZ plane or the XZ plane, depending on how you're looking at it. Um, so, this, in other words, this angle here is pi over 4. The next question, though, is what sphere is this? Because it's not just x squared plus y squared plus z squared equals some constant. There's a z over here. What we have to do is um, obviously complete the square and see what we get. So we subtract z, leave a little space here. And to complete the square, we have to add a quarter here, add a quarter here. And we end up with this, that this is the sphere x squared plus y squared plus. This becomes z minus a half squared equals a half squared. So this is the sphere centered at z equals one half, x equals zero, y equals zero. So it's centered um, halfway up here. So let's just say that this is a half. Halfway up the z, uh, one half of a unit up to z axis. And its radius is a half. So that means that the sphere sits like this. So it's touching, uh, it passes through the origin and it's sitting above. And like I said, it's centered here at z equals a half. And so now we look at this sphere, and it's going to intersect the cone at the way I've drawn it at these two points. You know, maybe before. It all depends on how you draw it. But it's going to intersect like right here. And so what we end up with, the shape that we want to try to find the volume of, is this shape that is bounded below by a cone. All right, by this cone, and then uh, the cone is capped off, so the cone portion looks like this, and then the cone is capped off by a portion of this sphere that we just found the formula for. Okay, and so again, this is our formula for the sphere in uh, rectangular coordinates. To plot the sphere, we did this, but we're actually going to want to go back to this formula to write down um, some equation for this sphere. We already talked about this is uh, angle pi over 4. So from the z-axis moving outward, um, this angle, which is the phi direction, right, in spherical coordinates, is phi equals pi over 4. And so to build this sphere, our, uh, we have to, so our row is going to go out from the origin in the positive z direction. Row is going to go from 0 out to um, the sphere here. But this sphere in spherical coordinates, this is given by... Let me change colors here. This is given by rho squared equals z. But remember, z is rho times sine of phi, cosine of phi. So this is then rho squared equals rho, cosine of phi. And so since rho is always positive, the equation of this sphere is just rho equals cosine of phi. All right, so that's the upper bound. Um, it goes from, again, rho goes from 0 up to cosine of phi. And then the rest of this can just be built by our usual angles. Like we said, the angle phi goes from 0 out to um, pi over 4. And then once this kind of fan section is traced out, then theta goes all the way around. So theta goes from 0 to 2 pi. And so the volume of this region is given by a triple integral over the region, let's just call it E for now, 1 dV, always, that's how you compute a volume, integral of 1 dV over the triple, triple uh, integral region. So now as an iterated integral, the only criteria now is that this integral has to be on the inside, and then we have to appropriately uh, plug in for dV here. And so what we end up with is that this integral should be on the outer integral, 0 to 2 pi. The next one in is phi, 0 to pi over 4. This one's rho, so rho goes from 0 to cosine of phi. And then it's 1 dv, but dv is rho squared sine of phi d rho d phi d theta in this order for what we've got here. 
Okay, so this is what needs to be computed. I'm going to copy this over, take it to the next page so we have some room to do it. Um, at this point, pause the video, try it yourself, and you can check back in and make sure you got the same answer as me. All right, as always, iterated integral. We start on the inside. Phi, this, this sign of phi can come out. Doesn't, that's not necessarily part of this integral, but there's a phi up here in this integral, so this is not a separable integral. What we end up with, this is 0 to 2 pi. Integral, 0 to pi over 4. Um, sine of phi we pulled out, right? And then we compute this integral. So the integral of rho squared d rho is one third rho cubed, but then what goes in for rho is just cosine phi and then zero. So this becomes cosine cubed phi d phi d theta. Okay, this one third can come out. Now this integral is separable because there are no thetas at all in this integral. So the theta and the one third can come out. This can be written as one third integral zero to two pi one d theta times integral pi over four sine of phi cosine cubed phi d phi. Okay, and of course this can be done by a u sub. U is cosine phi, du is then minus sine phi d phi. And we can plug in the boundaries. Cosine of pi over four is root 2 over 2, cosine of 0 is 1, and the negative sign flips this. And so what we end up with is this is 2 pi over 3 times the integral, root 2 over 2 to 1, of u cubed du. Again, this negative sign flips these boundaries. Okay, and we've got 2 pi over 3 times 1 fourth u to the fourth, plug in these bounds. So this is 1, this is just 1 over root 2, it'll make it easier to compute that. And we've got, uh, well, we can cancel this 4 with this 2 and just write this as pi over 6 times the difference of 1 to the 4th, which is 1, minus 1 over, uh, 1 over root 2 to the 4th, which is 1 fourth. Okay, and so this whole thing, this is just 3 fourths then, and we end up with 3 pi over 24 for the volume of this cone capped off with a sphere. So this is like uh, the shape of this region is like a snow cone that's been piled up on, on top of a cone. And the volume of that is again, three pi over 24.